Okay, let's, let's give you guys some practice now. So we've seen this before, so let me just give you a quick reminder. Imagine you're pulling a, a box up a hill with a vector force of u. So this is your vector u here. And uh, as far as the box is concerned, the only force that matters is this, uh, is this force here. So, uh, so it, we are not really interested in u, so we will project u onto the vector v in the direction of V. So we, we, we will project it onto here. So we are interested in, in this vector here. This is what the vector that we're after. So this will allow us to, um, um, to, to work out this, this vector here. Because as far as the box is concerned, it only cares about this vector here. It doesn't care about this one. So, uh, so now let's, uh, let's give you some, some practice. So let's say, uh, let's say U here, you've got a vector U. And a vector v, which is this one here. Well, the 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 uh, the thing that we're interested in is this vector here. So work out work out this vector here. So we are not interested in u. We are not interested in u. We would project u onto v. So uh, so it is it is this vector that we're after. So we are we are after this thing here, which is this thing here. So press pause and um, and work it out. Work out this vector here. Okay, so press pause and uh, and have a go. Okay, so blindly follow the formula. So so blindly follow the formula. So the formula is saying, if you project u onto onto v, this vector here, this vector here, is given by by this. So now uh, now look at this. Uh, perform your dot product divided by this. Uh, divided by the magnitude of v squared, and and then this whole thing here will give you a number because dot product will give you a number, magnitude will give you a number. When you square it, it will give you a number. The point is that this whole thing here will be a number, and then you times uh, you times the direction of v, the vector v. Okay, so dot product, so that that will be uh, one times two, and then. Uh, and then two times negative um, negative one that will then give you this, and then uh, three times one that will then give you this, um, and then the magnitude the magnitude remember will be the magnitude of v the magnitude of v so the magnitude of v so that will be the magnitude will be um, uh, this will be you working out the uh, well this squared and then uh, plus one squared will be one plus one squared. One squared will be will be one. So uh, so the, the magnitude will be will be this. But then we've got to square it. So uh, so it gets rid of this. So you're left with four, one, and one. And then uh, and then it's saying the vector v carry the vector v down. So that would then give you this. So now uh, tidy this whole thing. This whole thing here should just be a number. Well, that number is. Is uh, is a half. So uh, so tidy this up. Your vector will be given by this. So um, so u projected onto v. So u projected onto v would mean this thing here would mean this vector here. Okay. So so u projected u projected onto v would represent this vector here. Well, this vector here is given by by this. Okay. So next one. So here, um, oops, next one, uh, hang on, next one, so, oops, hang on, bear with me. So now, now, uh, now project V onto U. So, so earlier, earlier we projected U onto V, which, which would then give us, which would then give us, uh, this length, this vector here. But now I'm asking you to project V onto U. So, uh, so this thing here is not long enough. So let's extend this. So projecting v onto u, projecting v onto u. So, so basically, I'm after this vector here. Okay, this vector here from here to here. So, so project v onto u. So, uh, so normally our our formula would be our no, normally our formula would be this projecting u. Projecting u onto v, but now we are projecting v onto u. So, uh, so, so, so we, it, it, we're not using this formula. We should be using this one here. 
Okay, well, anyway, projectively onto you. Uh, use this one, don't use this one. So press pause and have a go. Okay, so to do this, um, perform your dot product. So your dot product will be this times this, that will be two. Um, and then, and then, well, perform your dot product, perform your dot product will then give you this whole thing here. Yeah, and then and then now uh, work out the magnitude of u. Work out the magnitude of u. So the magnitude of u would be uh, would be one plus four plus nine. We're, we're going to square it later because look squared. So uh, so that would leave us with this one four nine would leave us with one four nine. And then uh, carry the vector u down. So this is your vector u. Carry it down. So that would then give you, that would then give you, that would then give you this, and then uh, and then this whole thing here will be a number. Well, that number is this. So now, well, your final answer will be this. So hang on. So projecting u, projecting v onto u, projecting v onto u would be this vector here. Would be this vector here. Well, this vector here is given by by uh, by this, okay?